Welcome to this GE Healthcare educational series on electromyography-based neuromuscular transmission monitoring. In this third video, we will be covering Carescape Monitor's EMG user interface for software version 3.2 and above. This measurement is part of the GE Healthcare adequacy of anesthesia concept. It relates to the suppression of neuromuscular transmission for immobility as part of balanced anesthesia and supports clinicians in titrating neuromuscular blocking agents and reversal agents. Please always remember to refer to the user manual that accompanies the monitor for more information on the GE Healthcare EMG solution. Let's get started. Once the electro sensor is connected to the NMT module, the EMG user interface automatically brings up a visual aid to guide the right placement of electrodes. The first view will show a hand with the five different electrodes in their original color, black, white, brown, green, and red, with black numbering in the middle. Once we have attached the electrodes and started the calibration, which is indicated on the screen as Supermax search, we will then be able to see if they have good contact quality. If the electro connection is good, the colored circles with black numbering will be shown until the screen changes to Supermax search mode. Inadequate electrode impedance or connection will be shown in red with a white numbering. Once the electrode contact has been fixed, adequate impedance will be shown with a green check mark. Note, the poor connection of the stimulation electrodes can only be detected once the stimulation has started. To identify the super maximal value for an adult patient, you need to complete the following steps in the following order. Either press the startup key on the module or select the NMT parameter window to go to the setup menu. Select the stimulus mode, either TOF for train of Thor, DBS for double burst stimulation, or ST for single twitch. Select startup settings as auto. You can now press startup NMT in the user interface and the monitor will automatically look for this patient's super maximal value, although it is always possible to manually set the stimulus current strength. Once the super maximal stimulation current has been detected, the monitor will automatically start the measurement. You are now ready to relax your patient with neuromuscular blocking agents and can measure the depth of neuromuscular block by using the top measurement. Note, please check your depth of anesthesia values with the entropy parameter or similar prior to neuromuscular blocking agent administration to ensure adequate loss of consciousness. After the surgery starts, if the level of neuromuscular blockade is so deep that just one or zero twitches are present with TOF count, using post titanic count monitoring mode is recommended. Once you start the PTC measurement, you will clearly see on the user interface that the titanic stimulation is ongoing. After titanic stimulation, single twitch stimulations are generated. The number of detected responses are counted and expressed as PTC. The fewer the responses, the deeper the relaxation. Note, after titanic stimulation, NMT measurement is stopped and a wait to continue message is shown for one minute to allow the muscle membrane to repolarize. After that, the monitor automatically continues with the previously selected cycle. At the end of the surgery and prior to extubating, it is important to ensure there was no residual paralysis to allow the patient to spontaneously breathe and to maintain a safe airway. Clinical literature suggests that when the patient reaches a TOF ratio of at least 90% or higher, it is safe to extubate. This could be accelerated with the help of reversal agents. You should also assess other clinical signs. The monitor user interface also provides a visual aid in the form of a microtrend to identify when the TOF ratio is moving within an appropriate range. Thank you for watching this video series on EMG-based NMT monitoring. 